Let's take a look at Huawei Music. Is it the answer to Spotify, Amazon Prime Music and Co? Let's find out. This is the application after you started it. If it isn't appearing for you in this view and you only get kind of this view, what you have to do is check for updates and then it will ask you, uh, and it depends on your region, if you can enable it, that the online function is available for your region and you can activate it or not. If you activate it, you have always the option in settings to deactivate the um, online function again. Online music service, you can just uncheck it here, as you can see, and then this will be unchecked and you get the old uh, music application back. Let's go back and go on home to see how the app looks like. So you can see very similar to the video app from Huawei. We have various different uh, um, banners here. We can see Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande. Uh, we see some other stuff here, top hits. For example, we can tap on this and we get various different songs here that we can play back if you want to. As you can see here by various different artists and those are not like um, independent artists, those are well-known artists as well. Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Alicia Keys, Ariana Grande. As you can see here, a lot. Justin Bieber, even who, who wants to hear this. But anyway, you have the option to uh, see them here. And you can see they have also categories like after work, for example. If you want to relax, you can click on this and you get a mixture of what you would like to hear after work or even TikTok top uh, music or summer vibes if you click on this yeah I want to click on summer vibes you can see you have some summer music here you can play all you can heart this playlist or you can download all songs uh, by pressing the download button here here you have the play button and here you have the heart symbol to heart this playlist and of course you have some options here for each individual uh, music title. Like if I click on this, you can see I have the option to download, add to favorites, add to a playlist, play the next, share this song, view the album of this, uh, or view more about this artist. So Harry Styles, I don't know, never heard about him. Let's click on view artists and see what other songs he has here and I can see other songs that are available here and I can even go to albums and I can see albums here and uh, with covers as you can see here and I can also click on those and I get more information about them as well if I want to. So pretty basic. Then you have the option here you can see one month uh, for free testing if I click on this I have the option to get a free month trial as you can see here even so if I want to start a trial with my account if I'm logged in I get this option here and after this it costs I think a bit more uh, 9 uh, euros 99 per month uh, it will cost me to use this application you see there are some uh, charts as well. You can see Digi uh, 100 charts, Digi Top Classical, uh, for example, here also well-known artists in here and uh, various different ways to find music that you really like. And uh, yeah, it is pretty good when it comes to different tastes in music, at least my mainstream taste, I would say, uh, I can find uh, most of the stuff that I really really like uh, to listen to. Uh, so you can see we have also some exercising uh, workout uh, options in terms of music. So they have various different categories. They have some featured playlists here which are also pretty interesting and uh, yeah popular tracks as well and depending on your region you also get some local or regionalized uh, music as well just like for example I get some uh, German music here as well. Then you have some mood stuff so you can have some interestingly they're showing it off with even the Huawei copy of the Apple uh, HomePod I think 
and you can see there are several other things here as well as well as top artists that I can see here and here I have added Sheeran for example I can click on this and get some of his music here the only thing that I don't like I would want Huawei to add is like take a look at if, if I really like Ed Sheeran for example but I have some of the songs like Perfect for example I know exactly I have this album on my device itself already but if I want to click on it it will try to connect with the online version uh, will try to give me the, the, the download and, and uh, other functions here of the online version still so I have to buy it again this is I think something that could be done maybe by detecting the tracks, the, the metadata and, and putting them together and showing me I already have this song so I don't get confused when it comes to this. Something they should have uh, improved but everything else is pretty much very good indeed and yeah there are some songs for me as well especially here at the bottom which is a bit I would like it more on the top maybe new releases by some um, as you can see they are somehow getting some um, information out of my um, library apparently and yeah I can just click in those various different uh, files you can see there are lots of playlists here lots of stuff that I can listen to but this is not the only thing that I can do just like in uh, the uh, video app I have a browse option here where I can go into browsing stuff so I have the option to go look at albums look at charts for example they have the different charts it's a different layout again genre activity mood theme and era so if I want a 90s for example I can click on this and there's a nice Yashica logo and I see Britney Spears here uh, for example and some others here also very uh, interesting uh, to see and of course I have stations which is also pretty interesting if you just want to listen to music and um, yeah want to discover new music you have different st stations depending on genre a theme or mood or activity so if you're doing some sports and actions for example uh, or just want to relax a bit uh, you have the option here to uh, choose especially also again era and if you click on this uh, it will play the music it's tries to play the music but you need a premium account for this here as you can see I don't have a premium account right now but still have the option to at least search for music and I can go to search apropos search and I can see here some hot stuff uh, that people are searching but I can search for whatever I want to if I for example want to search for Michael Jackson I can do so and I would find some Michael Jackson songs here uh, but I can also go to albums for example and can find number ones for example and then see all the hits here that are inside here 18 songs and of course I have some options here on the top like for example uh, Michael Jackson pop R&B alternative and I can just click on pop for example and we'll search for uh, similar um, other songs that have something to do with pop in this case and uh, there are some other playlists here that I can, uh, can click on more to see some more pop playlists here for example if I want to so it is a pretty cool for discovering new songs and of course I have the option to also uh, tap more songs and then download add to favorites add to a playlist and so on so this is everything possible here as well so pretty cool feature then you can see I have uh, my on the bottom I have my music player already open I played an A-team MIDI file apparently and uh, have my controls here and what I can do is just click here to get into the player there we go and uh, to get in the player and uh, usually what you can see is here lyric of the of the song that you're currently playing back on a MIDI it will not work I have the option to hard I have the option to download only if really it is not downloaded uh, already like if I'm streaming and I can cut it even uh, MIDI sadly you cannot use for for ringtones for example but if you have another song let's go here James Blunt for example Tears in Rain you can see this cut option becomes available and I can click on this and I now have the option to just simply uh, cut and set as notification tone or set as LM sound uh, or I can use it as ringtone uh, as well and yeah I can cut through the song here as you can see uh, shouldn't cut of course too 
too long wouldn't be nah, wouldn't be too good to cut through I think it is playing back something so <laughs> let's stop this right now discard ringtone okay but in theory it would work and there's an, another option where you can have um, some very interesting options if you want to play back music uh, like the timer option which allows you to say okay I want to have music for for sleeping or for relaxation or something like this and I want the music to stop after 30 minutes or something like this and uh, I want to finish the track so it will not stop in the middle of the track but it will fade out so this is something I can uh, check here in those options of course I can delete the track I can set it as ringtone I can see the song information so if I click on this you can see I have some more song information like the title the artist the album uh, and lyric I can click on this touch to here to search for lyrics I can click on search for lyrics and then I say search it will start searching for lyrics it didn't find any lyrics for this song which is unfortunate but in theory you could embed this lyrics into the um, uh, database so you don't have to re-download it, it every time and it will show you how big the um, the file is and where to find the file on the device itself if you want to edit this you can just click here uh, now you have to click the edit button and then you can have the option to to click here and to edit stuff if you'd like to and yeah this is pretty much the uh, options here uh, multi-screen we click on this it allows wireless projection so if you want to uh, project this on the uh, on a Huawei uh, Bluetooth device uh, on a Huawei smart TV or smart device you can do this here via wireless pr uh, projection and it will allow you to project it to your uh, television for example I don't have a uh, Huawei television so I cannot project this right now uh, then here's another option LRC uh, search for lyrics so I have the option to, to um, um, uh, configure the lyrics so it, if it wants to, to, to find or if it finds lyrics you can uh, show the lyrics on the home screen as well so on the widget and you can translate the lyrics so if you don't if English is not your native language it will translate it to your language or if it is in a completely different language it could translate the lyrics automatically in your language so you know what the song is about and of course you have the option again to search for the uh, lyric again and uh, then there's another option here at the top which is for audio settings so if you have plugged in headphones like I have plugged in right now my headset that hopefully is still recording uh, this session I have the option to uh, set the playback mode for a headset like auto, 3D audio, natural or standard. I would really recommend natural, I really like natural. I don't like the automatic because the automatic uh, sometimes uses or mostly uses the 3D audio effect and it's like distorts and destroys the music for me totally but uh, it might depend on the song that you're listening to and uh, 3D audio makes apparently sense if you're listening to, to if you're not listening to music if you're watching videos it makes a lot of sense but for music I would say uh, go for the natural one that's the best or you can go to standard which is for a longer playback time it is a bit of a worse quality but you have the option to choose your headphone type as you can see here you have various different headphone types that you can choose from uh, in ear earbuds over ear so uh, this can improve audio depending on the headphones you are using as well so um, uh, and have, of course an equalizer where you can have a bass boost and uh, some presets as well available here uh, that you can uh, set this is Huawei Hisense is not part of the uh, actual uh, player itself it is part of the operating system so let's go back so this is this we can go and minimize this again and we can finally go to our library here we have several different other options just like for example we can see all our songs that we have locally on uh, the device itself on all songs or the playlists I don't have any playlists as you can see the recently played we can uh, take a look at and on the right we have downloads downloads would be like stuff that we downloaded from here for example uh, would show up here as you can see I don't have a count so it is not uh, in here and favorites that we marked as favorites this would be local ones but also could be streamed ones and messages so if something notifications happen for example or there's some something happening subscri subscriptions uh, happen like uh, re being renewed or there's a price increase or something like this it will happen it would appear here 
And of course, then you have uh, the settings. You can check for updates and you have the about uh, page. You can click on about page. You can see this is the version of the music Huawei music app that I'm using right now. A cool thing is this is not all. You have the option. You can see you can search here for all artists and so on uh, if I like to, like I uh, did before. But what I can also do is let's go to my library. Here you see the little uh, hamburger menu. If I click on this, I get more options even. Just like for example, if I want to crop a song, I know I want to do ringtone for a comp uh, for, uh, for for a friend of mine or something like this. I can click on crop song, and I key can see all the cropped songs that I did already. So if I cropped a song already, I can see them here in the list, which is pretty nice as an overview if you uh, did an, uh, if, if you want to just adjust the uh, cropped song. I can identify songs. So uh, let me play something in the background and let's see if this will work out. Uh... The good thing is I can just jump on my phone here and can show you um, that we have an option here uh, which is called party mode. It's now set in German but it doesn't matter. What it creates is basically every device, every Huawei device that you have, they can connect via a network together and uh, like a mesh network for music and you can use every device that you have in a party like mode. So what you have to do is just like uh, invite friends to scan your QR code and then you can simply start the party mode. I click on start here. Uh, I want to start a party. Yeah, that wants my location data only when I'm using, probably for, for uh, the direct connection. And now I can invite friends and now I can scan the code. It is scanning, it's connecting right now. Turning this, ah, now you have, you can see I have my Huawei Mate Access and uh, my, uh, uh, you can see this is uh, set to front left and I have set my uh, Mate Access for front right. So now you can see the two devices, the Mate 30 Pro and the Mate Access in the party mode. And um, what I can do right now, I can hear, I only have the play pause setting and it says nothing to play on the master device. So I have to control it on the master device, which is the Mate 30 Pro. And what I can do here is just go into the library of my local library here and I can just hit on something and say play. And it will start playing back now on this device and on this device. And this will be the left channel, this will be the right channel for stereo effect. If I would have the chance to add my uh, MatePad Pro and my P30 that I'm recording right now, I could have like a surround sound, so four channels. And I can set this up basically as well here. Uh, where was it? Channel, choose channel. And I have the option to choose the channel. As you can see, this is the music one. This is where I am basically. And this is what I chose here, uh, front left. And uh, this one is front right, and I'm also select able to select the channel here and can say now I want this to be center, I want it to be back right, and so on. And by default, it sets up everything I think in a, a good manner. I think the next one would be like here, uh, uh, would be like uh, front uh, center, and yeah, there you can create your own party like. Uh, um, yeah, party-like mode, which is I think pretty nice. The only thing that I noticed that you cannot, the, the playback doesn't work on the clients, you have to use it on the master. And pausing does work for one device, for example, if you don't want this to be played. And you can click play again here for it to resume the playback on both devices. 
So this is a pretty nice um, uh, feature, I would say. And I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it didn't work out quite as nicely as I would uh, have hoped for. Uh, like, subscribe and um, ask questions in the comments section. And until the next time, bye.